Saint Genesius by Julia Quistapache. As some of you may know, I am a proud and dedicated member of the De La Salle and Crondelet Theatre Arts Group, and when asked to do this project on a specific saint I could best relate to me and my faith, Saint Genesius, the patron saint of actors, was the first to come to mind. Every time company gathers in prayer, we end with Saint Genesius. I've often wondered why it was so important for us to pray to him. Who is Saint Genesius? Well, there isn't much known to be true about the early life of St. Genesius. All I know to be definite, as far as research goes, is that he was an extremely talented playwright, comedian, and actor in late Imperial Rome. At this time, actors were seen as the dregs of the Roman Empire, being people who essentially lied for the amusement and entertainment of others. They were even looked down upon for their sometimes crude, offensive, and sexual comedic acts. Actors were even closely associated with prostitutes as being similar careers. This was the type of life St. Genesius led. St. Genesius is best known for the incredible story of his conversion. In 303 AD, around the time of the last major convert or die persecutions of the Christians by Roman Emperor Diocletian, St. Genesius and his theater troupe decided to write a play mocking the Christians and their sacrament of baptism. St. Genesius wrote, directed, as well as acted in this mockery, and planned to perform it in front of Emperor Diocletian upon his visit to Rome. The play probably did not involve any real talent or craft, but just a lot of crude and unfair humor. During one scene in the play, Genesius was to be subject to a fake baptism that was probably quite dramatic and over the top, in an attempt to get the point across that the, the belief of the cleansing of all sins was extremely silly. When the actual performance arrived, Emperor Diocletian was present. The play had gone on swimmingly, all up until the fake baptism scene. As Genesius was getting the water poured over his head, Suddenly, he had an epiphany from God, and this fake baptism had become true. Genesius then began speaking the word of God and preaching to the audience about the light of God. It didn't take Emperor Diocletian long for him to arrest the entire company and to torture Genesius with threats of killing him if he did not choose to give praise to their Roman gods. Genesius did not give in, and he was martyred sometime in the year 303 without being officially baptized. His feast day is on August 25th. One way St. Genesius has inspired me to be a servant of God is by using my gifts to make a difference. He has taught me to never fear from using my voice to impact people in such a way that affects how they feel and how they think. St. Genesius has helped me to realize that God has given me these unique gifts not only to be noticed and valued by others, but also to remind me to always thank him for giving them to me. St. Genesius has inspired me to never give up working hard towards something like a performance so that I can offer my gifts up to God, bringing me closer to him. So to answer my question on why we should pray to St. Genesius, I interviewed some of my most favorite seniors in company. So I think it's um, really important that we pray to St. Genesius because it really just connects us closer to our religion. And I think he's also really inspiring because, you know, he gave his life. He was a martyr. I think he's just an inspiration for me to use my talents to speak for what I believe in and not be afraid. So when we pray to St. Genesius, we're asking him to watch over us as we tackle the very daunting task of performing in front of 400 people. And I guess you could connect St. Genesius to serving God because when we're performing, we're using our God-given talents. Well, I think it's good to pray to St. Genesius because like, we all do it in company and it's like a really good way for us to connect our faith to our acting abilities and our love of theater. And like, if we're nervous backstage or something or like we're stressed out about a show or something, we can just go to St. Genesius and pray to him for guidance. Well, I think when I hear us say, myself say, pray for us, when we're referring to St. Genesius, is that I actually want him to pray for us so that way we can do an excellent job in what we're doing. Uh, St. Genesius is the patron saint of performing arts, as we know, and it's very important that as actors and other performers, it is an art form what we're doing, 
and the whole purpose of art is to affect people, to make them think. And I pray that we have the strength and the guidance so that we can take on another role and we can portray that role realistically. That we have the strength to step into another person and be real as that person to the audience and real to ourselves at the same time. I even interviewed my favorite teacher, my theater teacher, Mr. Rosales. You'll say, you know, St. John Baptist of the South, fine, St. Joseph, fine, St. Genesia is who? And uh, it's, it's great. I think two things. One, from a Catholic perspective, we think in terms of family. We really do. And so the saints are members of our family, just like we would have um, uh, portraits or pictures, photographs of people who may have died or family that you don't see, but you have photographs of those people to remind yourself. Saints are the same thing. And different saints in their lives had different, uh, they were known for different things. Genesius was a performer, was a performer who used to make fun of Christianity. That's, that, that was his thing, until at one point uh, he was doing a, uh, uh, like a scene or a play on baptism, making fun of that, and had this epiphany. And I think that it's, he's patron of theater because of his acting background, but I think also just the epiphany. Because theater demands epiphany, it demands an, an, an understanding, a realization of who the character is that you're playing, which can change at any time. Uh, it, it demands a spontaneity of trying to figure out who's doing what and how do I respond if somebody forgets a line. So there's a lot more than just him patron because he was an actor. It's the aspects of, of, of acting. Um, and I think that the whole, and I, I, I'm going to mention Ms. McLean for this. Because I, uh, one of the things that we share in the classes are the rules for improv. Yes and. Always try to be helpful. Supportive. You have to support the other people. And you be spontaneous. And Genesius did that as an actor, but then also he, he heard God. Yes and. He supported the people with his new community now. And he was spontaneous. He went from like making fun of, moving to the other direction, and that, in itself, in and of itself, is a perfect. Saint Genesius connects back to Cronelet's learning expectation of a woman of creativity who discovers her talents and develops her ideas. Saint Genesius came up with creative ideas in which he could use his talents in many different ways, writing plays, acting in them, and even directing them. St. Genesius recognized his God-given talents and was courageous enough to do the unthinkable. He was not afraid to make a difference, not only on stage, but far beyond it. St. Genesius did not cower from putting his ideas into action, thinking outside the box, taking them to a whole new level. This concludes my presentation on St. Genesius. Thank you and God bless you.